Alrighty, I guess we can get started. So good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, everyone. And welcome to this another amazing session today with the What's New in Item Visibility and Cloud Accelerate as of Xanadu and Q3 2024 store release. We are super excited to talk about these great innovations that we brought to the market. And uh, there's going to be plenty of uh, interesting content for you throughout this session. And yes, as you can see, if you're not familiar with this series, this webinar is also part of the Live on Service Now webinar series, which is a great alternative for you to really see how you can speed deployment and adoption of our solutions to basically achieve value faster. If you're interested in Live on Service Now webinars, you can scan this QR code right here, or uh, you can uh, have a look in the chat where uh, we just posted the link um, so you can access not only the what's new sessions but also many other great webinars that we're hosting throughout the year um, so you can stay up to date with all of our uh, latest and greatest innovations a few housekeeping items for today so first of all please make sure that everyone's line is muted you have the q a uh, feature that you can leverage in order to ask us questions as throughout today's sessions we're going to have uh, our great experts supporting and answering your questions. Um, and we also plan to have a Q&A section uh, just at the end of this uh, webinar. Uh, this session is being recorded. And yes, you will find it not only um, in uh, on our ServiceNow community forum, but also on YouTube. And after this session ends, please, please make sure that you fill out the short survey that you'll be prompted to. Um, that's a great way for us to better understand what are your needs essentially and what you want to see in these sessions. So please make sure you check that out. Now, for those that don't know me, my name is Gian Mario De Luigi. I'm part of the outbound product management team for ITOM covering visibility and cloud accelerate. We're currently uh, on a world tour uh, together with my great team uh, to make sure that we uh, visit the uh, many of the cities where you could be based in and we really get to meet you all so that we can uh, help you to really get value faster uh, from our great solutions. So if you haven't checked that out, we'll make sure to put the link at the end. Now, Safe Harbor Notice, um, just in case, uh, you know, we will make any uh, forward-looking statements in today's session. Please be aware that there could be some of those statements and uh, they are just essentially plans that can change at any time. Now, in today's session, we're going to cover, as I said, both item visibility and item cloud accelerate. We're going to get started with visibility first. We have a lot of innovations to talk about uh, when it comes to uh, visibility. And you can literally have a look here at this uh, graphic. You can see that in all the um, latest releases, I'm not only talking about family release, but especially store releases, because essentially that's where most of our innovations are being released. You can see how much value we delivered. Our great engineering teams and inbound product management teams have been working so hard to bring exciting innovations to the market. And uh, I, I won't go through each single one of them here, even because this is just a short, um, a representation of many, many more uh, innovations that we delivered. However, this gives you a clear idea of how much we've been innovating. Now, let's start to see um, what are the major new features and enhancements for uh, this release, starting with Discovery Admin Workspace. We just hosted, as a matter of fact, a webinar yesterday that was purely focused on the Discovery Admin Workspace experience, and we got uh, such great feedback. So please make sure that you check that out. Uh, we'll post the uh, on-demand links at the end of this session. And yes, uh, we're definitely going to cover uh, Discovery Admin Workspace in this session more in detail. Second uh, focus uh, is going to be the uh, CMDB-based service mapping. So you can now create service maps essentially by just leveraging the data, specifically the TCP and um, uh, process uh, data, 
that you will have on your CMDB uh, and running process data so that you can get to value faster without need, even having to uh, trigger discovery. And then when it comes to uh, certificate inventory management, we also recently introduced the ACME support. Basically, you can perform certificate fulfillment for any of the certificate authorities that are supporting the ACME uh, standard, which is super exciting. Now, uh, there are also many other new features and enhancements that we just released. Talking about discovery and service mapping patterns, we introduced the Dell EMC data domain uh, power max storage so that you can get uh, enhanced storage visibility. You can now scan containment, con, uh, leverage the scan container image support feature for private repositories. Um, so even for those specific repositories and of course for the public ones, uh, you can get more details about the uh, uh, software that is installed inside containers. Um, you can start, uh, also scan AWS ECR container images without a mid server proxy. Uh, that gives you essentially uh, uh, broader visibility on these uh, images. And then uh, the you can perform AKS discovery without using an Azure CLI. Um, so you will have better discovery performances for the AKS Kubernetes clusters. There are also other new features regarding the CNO for visibilities. It is now... Um, yeah, easier for you to manage each of the informers that you will install inside the Kubernetes clusters, as you can upgrade the informers straight away from the ServiceNow instance. Uh, you can also execute uh, parameters uh, for the um, uh, in informer, and you can um, execute specifically a control of those parameters from the ServiceNow instance. So you have, again, uh, better productivity and you can get more uh, from your Kubernetes in, uh, informer, which is, of course, at the base of cloud native operations for visibility. And also the informer connection to your ServiceNow instance is now possible with Open Authorization uh, 2.0 authentication. When it comes to external credential storage and management app, we just released a dedicated app that supports basically the external credential storage integrations that used to be covering uh, CyberArk, but now we also support Azure Key Vault. Um, and Xanadu in this case is a prerequisite. For mid-server, we introduced the log file compression uh, in order to optimize the mid-server performances. Now, these are just a few of the many new features, but um, they are uh, some of the ones that you should definitely be aware of. And as I said before, we're going to go uh, through a real overview of only the major features, starting from, as I said before, the, uh, the Discovery Admin Workspace, the highly anticipated, I would call it, Discovery Admin Workspace. Now, for all the Discovery Admins in this call, or anyone that had to do discovery administration tasks. The UI experience was uh, definitely, uh, we can say not the most streamlined until now because you had a lot of uh, navigation in order to accomplish your tasks. But with the new workspace, you'll be able to manage your discovery posture from one single pane of glass so that you can increase your productivity it's easier to fine tune your discovery performances, to diagnose any issues and manage those issues, and really essentially gain uh, real powerful insights on the discovery data. When it comes to how you can activate it, you need to install the uh, latest release of Discovery Admin Workspace Store app, and please make sure that either Xanadu or Washington uh, Patch 5 are prerequisites in order for you to leverage it. It is entitled um, with uh, any, uh, not only with item visibility, but also with item discovery. So uh, either discovery or item visibility or any bundle that includes them. And uh, yes, we're going to go through the uh, main values in a moment. I will just bring you through a couple of slides and then we're going to see the uh, actual solution in action. 
As you can see, the new Discovery Admin workspace, which by the way was already introduced with just the Content 360 feature, now features dedicated sections.